Essentially, how this build works is I'm utilizing the Dark Scythe to increase the amount of poison that both of the Emerald Whelps can do, along with them being able to heal for five per hit because of the Dragon Nest, increasing their DPS utilizing the Burning Blade, along with utilizing the Burning Blade for the heat generation, Sun Armor for the healing, and then we just got this for stamina plus additional heat. Okay. We got the Rainbow Batch. Buying it. It's a little iffy. But we have access to all class items. Which pretty much means we have access to all the items in the game, essentially. But there is literally only one specific item that I want. There is only one singular specific item that I want. And that item is the Death Scythe. This is the only item that I want out of all the items in the game. I only want the Death Scythe. So I'm hoping that I am able to get the Death Scythe. I really don't want anything else. I'll take anything else, but I really don't want anything else. Nocturnal Lock looks there would be pretty, pretty insane too. Even though we're probably never going to get that. But besides the point, let's see what we can do with this. So I'm just going to start with your basic Pyromancer little build situation. Deck of cards. Uh, let me think. The deck of cards could be nasty. Actually, no, we don't need it because we don't need stamina, right? So I say that and then we run out of stamina a bunch. Um, I'm going to get this. I'm not getting deck of cards. Bow and arrow. No, I can't do it. I can't do it, Mr. Rainbow Batch. Give me that one item I need, please. Oh, you want Stone Batch? Stone Batch is pretty solid, too. Just because the, uh, the extra items you get. I think Rainbow Batch at the beginning of the game is really nice. The extra buffs is actually phenomenal. Roll. Oh, roll. Buy that and then roll. Okay, got what I wanted. This and that and this and that. Whoops. There we go. But yeah, the gaining of one buff at the start of the game, that empowerment and vampirism really helps a lot. <laughs> Unironically. Doesn't help that much in the in the late game, but in the early game, it definitely we still lost, but it still helps. Trust me. Just um do something. Do that. That'll work. That will work. The only downside about having Rainbow Badge is that you have so many items inside of your shop that getting the item you want is really difficult. Unfortunately difficult. But it's a thing. Good game. More space, coal. Okay, we got forging hammer. I don't really want forging hammer though. But the benefit of having forging hammer means... Actually, I don't think it means anything. <laughs> Except having forging hammer. Yeah, fuck Forging Hammer. I would like to see Forging Hammer be used, though, as, like, your main source of DPS. If you use with Carrot Goober or just Carrots in general. And maybe put, like, a bunch of speed on it. Could be interesting. This person went with the Skull Badge. Pyromancer with Reaper items could be interesting. Not sure how you would pull that off, but I think it would be really cool. If you could do something cool with it. Good game. And let's get you now, and I'll get another one of you. Okay, got a customer card, which I want. That will allow us to have double um, uniques. Which is nice, and it gives you that 50% increased chance, which is even better. And I'm not sure I'm going to use my fanny packs now. Unless I just did this. That works for me. Also, just bring this down. Okay. 
did not want to do that, but I could just bring this down here. In order to fit more fire items inside of the fire pits. I think that's good. Pyromancer with a leaf badge. Okay, you went with your bow and arrow. They should make a flame arrow. That'd be dope. Probably never gonna happen. But still would be dope. Good game. And let's get you and you. Um, put you guys inside. Definitely put you guys inside some fannies. I'm just going to move this up here. Just to make the burning sword up there. I did not think about flying Arlick. I don't know. It's on sale. <laughs> I think I'm going to take it. Pretty simple fact that it's on sale. I don't know. Inflicting one poison every five seconds could be kind of nasty, I guess. Even though they're cleansing it <laughs> instantly. <laughs> Seems like we're still going to win this, though. Just because we had double DPS, they had single. Good game. There goes sun armor. Never want to pass up on a sun armor. Never, ever, ever. I, I, I don't think... This was a good choice. I'm gonna I'm just sell it. Just sell it. I really want sun armor. All right, we'll roll with this. Double axe. A bunch of food. They also have dragon scale armor too. Oh no. Uh, I think we win. Maybe? There we go. That was close, actually. Is this every five seconds or after five seconds? After five seconds. Okay. I thought it was every five seconds, but no. It's only an afterthought. Let's get you. I don't need that. You see what I mean, though? I need one item. The chance of me finding that item might be really, really slim. I do need dragons. So I might as well put you in there. I need space so much right now, though. Let's see. Chili pepper would be good as well. Okay. Didn't want to do that, but I feel like it's my only choice. I mean, we got our DPS. We got our healing. They also got their healing and DPS and blind putting on. That's not good. Can we out DPS that uh, region? I don't think so. Yeah. Not a chance. Freaking burning banner. Hey, Far. How's it going? You keep giving me these forging hammers. I don't want them. At all. That's what I want. Okay. All right. All right. Unfortunately, we have to get extremely lucky. But fortunately, that is kind of possible. <laughs> What's the thoughts on the last patch? I'm still iffy about it, but I, I, it's it's positive thoughts overall. Everything is positive thoughts over here because it, it, it opens the doors for really fun builds and I'm all for really fun builds. I'm all for really fun builds, for sure. <laughs> I had to buy it, bro. I had to. There's only one dragon that I want. 
Only one. If I can get that singular dragon, the world will be at peace. It will truly be at peace. The better play there was definitely get a, get a dragon egg, though. Don't do what I did and get a dev scythe. Get the dragon egg. <laughs> so you can hatch the next round and you have better DPS, especially when you have a stamina like, like me. But I like to take a risk, so. I need that. Do this. Okay. I didn't really want to do that, but I felt like I kind of just had to. Wait a second. I don't need this rainbow badge anymore. Because I already got the death scythe that I wanted. So I could sell you. I don't want to get Obsidian Dragon. We're doing something different. I don't need you either. Okay. <laughs> There's only one item that I need now. Literally only one. Hammer build, poison dagger plus bloody dagger, brass knuckles, and a hammer. Can we come out on top? I don't think so. The vampirism, the healing from vampirism is too much for my sun armor to bear. That's fine though, good game. I'll take you. Nope. Nope. Because they're not the ones that I want. Yes. Huge yes. Okay. All right. This is absolutely massive. Yo. What's up, Valdis? How's it going? I say we win. Come on. You just need to cleanse the blind. That's it. Just keep cleansing that blind. And bananas give me more stamina and we win. Good game. And now I have access of getting one more unique. And it's a 15% chance I see it in the shop. All is well with the within the world. And I need two more gold, so I'm just gonna sell these two to get that to hatch you. And that is it. Okay, burning sword with double molten daggers. He's also gonna be invulnerable. Um, I should have probably put that dragon next to that burning sword. This one right here. Maybe. That's fine though. Okay. Let's roll. Yes. Roll. Um. Do you really need gloves of haste when you have flame? Nah. Okay. We are about to make some humongous changes within our build right now. Actually humongous changes. I'm not sure how well this is going to go. But I'm selling you Selling you, um, you're going up there. You can just go wherever you want, honestly. We're gonna go dragon nest. Dragon number two can go here. Can move this down by one. Let's do this. So that the scythe can go there. Okay, so far so good. And I messed up. Okay. <laughs> um, let's actually put you here. Put the burning sword right here. So that they're touching both. Which is probably good. Honestly, we could just 
fanny you along with double fanning the sun armor. To even do that and put all of this heat on the sun armor along with having it inside the fire pit as well. And we can do this. But that needs to happen. So we're out of the dilemma. For now, we'll just do that instead. That works. That freaking works. Okay. Is two mic one input? I still don't understand. <laughs> We're going against Double Fortuna's Grace, still Goober on Double Shield of Vague Lore. Let's see how well this does. We can do this. Oh my god, that hurts so much. I don't know if we can do this. No, we're so close. So freaking close. We needed that. We needed that so badly, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, hopefully. Um, let's do that. That way, both of those are, you know, this is faster now. So that's good. More flame in there is good. I'm going to sell you and three of you to get this just so I can do that. This will work. Mm -hmm. This will work. Versus this guy, of course it'll work. Hopefully. I haven't even looked at his build yet. But it'll work. I just know it. Oh yeah. So far so good, actually. Berserker mode means nothing to me. on we can do this oh yeah 100 percent let's go all right nice pop all right uh <laughs> we're gonna have to rearrange a little bit for sure, um, somehow. Don't know how yet. Don't know how yet. Don't know how yet. But it's gotta happen. Honestly, bro, keeping this a burning blade instead of or a burning sword, it's probably better. Or maybe not. I could just put it there. And then put that there. And that still works. Hmm. That fannies. I also want you on fannies, which technically you are on fannies. I also want the sun armor on fannies, too. So you're in three fannies there. Should be more than enough for you, bro. Honestly. I should not hear. Any form of complaining from you. At all. And I can just put the food stuff up here. Or better yet, it's probably better to put this last dragon up here. Like that. And I could just quad fanny you. 
like so. Okay. Okay. That's the build. That's the freaking build. We have Death Scythe on double Emerald Whelps. We probably need to get some uh, some armor generation with the Dark Crystals. Put it inside of the Sun Armor. Amethyst doesn't really matter, realistically. It doesn't really matter at all, but it's there for the healing. You know? Um, heat generation mainly just coming from the Chili Peppers plus Burning Blade, which is great. Um, and yeah. Only thing I want now will probably just be corrupted crystals because of all the poison that we're going to be inflicting. Which should be a lot. I'm hoping it's a lot. Already 14. So each time they attack, they're putting on six each. Which is... Amazing. <laughs> and they're healing when they attack too. This dude's got a lot of DPS though. But our poison is just too much. It's just too much. You could also rock this with double Death Scythe. And just have double Emerald Whelp. Or something. I'm gonna give you another one of these. But yeah, give me some Corrupted Crystals, please. That is another one. I can't fit it anywhere, though. Yeah, there's no way to fit a second. A second one in there at all. Although I'd rather have it than have this amethyst. Yeah, why not? I don't need that. Corrupt the crystal me. Damn it. Next round. Next round we W key for as many corrupted crystals as possible. Wow. Okay. This has got 35% life steal on the three weapons plus the holy spear cleansing our poison. It's only cleansing three poison per hit and we're inflicting like six every one second essentially which is just keep getting faster the more heat that we get but he's got a lot of healing so this battle should last a pretty long time but he doesn't have the mana generation in order to proc that holy spear or the glowing crown that he has so he's probably just going to die <laughs> more than likely anytime now there we go good game all right game I need dark crystals. Wow. Okay, I got one at the very last. But I need six gold. <laughs> I can sell this. I don't need you anymore. That helps a lot. At least I was able to get one. One is better than zero. But yeah, essentially how this build works is I'm utilizing the Dark Scythe to increase the amount of poison that both of the Emerald Whelps can do, along with them being able to heal for five per hit because of the Dragon Nest, increasing their DPS, utilizing the Burning Blade, along with utilizing the Burning Blade for the heat generation, Sun Armor for the healing, and then we just got this for stamina plus additional heat. And then Corrupted Crystal because you just need Corrupted Crystal when you're on Poison. And they also have a Poison build. A damn good one. One, two, three, four, five, six pineapples. Six pineapples with Poison Ivy. So he has a 5% chance to resist debuffs, which sucks for us. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40% chance. 40% chance to resist debuffs. Which is shitting on our poison, and he's making us slower because of the artifact of cold. He's also got a corrupted crystal. 
This is not good. He's got the Divine Potion. This is not good. He's got double Tuscan Pokers plus the Tuscan Piercer. This is not good. This is not good. At all. But we cleanse debuffs because of our sun armor. So his ice isn't that big of a deal. And even with that reduced um, debuff situation he has, we're still able to put on more poison than he's able to put on us. Even with him having fucking six pineapples, two Tuscan pokers, and a piercer, we still manage to win. <laughs> We still manage to win. Wow. Dragon has 145, Sun Armor 120. That's all the healing we needed. Block Generation 72 from Corrupted Crystal. If we had more Corrupted Crystals, that'd be insane. Poison, 35, 35, and a 17. What about Poison Cleansed over here? That was only 20. <laughs> Only 20, he inflicted 70 poison damage dealt. 179 from poison, we're 173. So he did more damage from poison than we did. But our emerald whelps, while they also put on poison, they still do their damage, their regular damage that they do, which is great. <laughs> which is freaking great. Man, this one only did 40, five to 10 versus, yeah. That burning blade helped so much. That was a great game. That was a great game. I think this combination is actually really, really good. It's just you have like a 50% chance of it happening. You could do it with the rainbow, but it takes longer. But Pyromancer with the Reaper item is gnarly. Getting double Emerald Whelps. I would say it could even be better if you got a second Death Scythe. You would you wouldn't be able to get the healing though, right? For the dragon's nest, because this will have to move over. Death Scythe will have to go here. Um, but you would be able to get more poison. It's definitely more of a glass cannon e build. But I mean, if if you get just a bunch of corrupted crystals, you really don't even need the healing because you could just get that six block every seven debuffs you're inflicting, right? And each one of these is putting on six debuffs. So each time this attacks, you're essentially gaining six armor, which is close enough to four to five healing, okay? <laughs> Especially if you get more of these. It's not like you can increase the healing the Dragon Nest does, except for jewels. But I mean, imagine having three of these. Each time one of these hit, bro, you're inflicting or you're, you're gaining 18 block. It's like, okay, I'm going to hit you for 15 damage, inflict six poison, and gain 17 block. Each time I hit every one second, like... That just sounds insane. This could definitely be better, but that was a good game, though. That was definitely a good game. <laughs>